Hi guys. So um, this has been a long time in coming. I had mentioned a month or so ago that um, I had a slip of the tongue and I said, oh yeah, and I use this for my artifact masks. And then I stopped and said, wow, I should really do a review on artifact masks. And like, I think five of you people agreed. So this is fantastic. If five people who are watching me agreed that artifact needs to be reviewed, then probably more people feel the same way. Artifact Skin Co. is a line actually that's from Ontario, a Canadian line, actually very local. I think they're from Hamilton or somewhere close by, not really far away. Let me see. Oakville, Oakville, Ontario, Artifact Skin Co. Artifactskin.com. This is not paid for in any way. I <laughs> should prefix all this. Um, okay, so I'm going to get right into the products that I bought from Artifact um, and just why I was drawn to them. So, first of all, I love the packaging, so I literally kept everything. So yeah, really beautifully precious kind of jars and containers. So each of them come, each mask comes in its own glass container with its little scoop spatula and actually instructions to please use the spatula um, to keep your product fresh, sealed with a jar. Now there is nothing left. I like clean these out because I love them so much. Um, so I'll get into that. So the first one that I wanted to talk about was this one I had open, which is their Brazilian Super Mud Mask. So they have both, they had clay masks and they have like gel masks. I don't really need detoxing clays. I've already got a couple. I'm kind of a, a mask addict. I love, love masks, especially when they're just beautiful. So particularly, I wrote down some notes so I don't forget. Um, this one is inspired by different uh, Brazilian Amazonian super fruits. So to start off, it's in a base of the Amazonian white clay, the kaolin clay. Um, so it is clay-ish with like a lavender color. And there's like lots of little bits and things in there because there's actually different ground um, seeds and fruits in there. So specifically, there is, um, Papao su butter, there's babasu oil, there's coconut oil, there's acai, and there's mango, and there's other just like it. The definition they call this one it's a mask that gives more than it takes. So I really like that as a clay mask that was not like one of those pulling the oil and deep cleaning the skin. They do have it, they have a nice detox mask. Go check it out. Um, but this was more about nourishing, supporting, and rebalancing the skin. So I love that for when my skin was just feeling a little depleted and I still wanted to make sure that I was balancing out my uh, combination type skin. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Smells delicious and smells fruity. So love that so much. The second mask that I also got from them also packaged beautifully in a very different look, the Bali Papaya Rice Mask. So again, this one I just totally obliterated as well. It's just like nothing in there but the scent of the mask. It's got this wonderful papaya smell, um, but the main ingredient actually is ground bali rice. So rice is not only the beautiful, very gentle exfoliant, like it was micro ground, so it was really, really soft. I don't like scrubs at all, pretty much, um, but it's ground down nice and soft. Um, as well, it has uh, the enzymes and it help to break down dead skin cells and it is no known to be a brightening treatment as well for discoloration, sun damage. To layer onto that rice, they also added the papaya enzymes, which enzymes are phenomenal for, again, chewing up the dead surface tissue and really helping to... I was using it to not only encourage like brightening, which is a main concern for my skin and my sun damage, uh, but also just retexturing, smoothing, helping to dissolve any buildup of dead skin cells or surface oils that could become blackheads or acne later on. So I wouldn't really like rub it in. I would just like sit it on for 10 minutes and let it do its thing. And that would be fantastic. It was kind of like a gel, but it would have been more of a gel except the coconut oil in it and of course the ground rice um, give it this kind of rich, milky, creamy sort of texture. But particularly those three active ingredients in there. So love those masks. When I went to get them, it was from the one of a kind show that's in Toronto. They have one in spring and they have one in the winter. I went to the winter one and they had a place set up. So they had a deal that if you got two masks, you could get um, the mask brush. So I bought the mask brush too. I just love the packaging so much that I keep everything in there. So this is their application brush that they recommended using. First of all, I love it. It's like just so short and so cute and so perfect. It's got that beautiful blunt tip. So after you scoop out your product onto the back of your hand, you would take your brush and then 
apply it on not only is it really nice and artful and relaxing um, it's nice to have a specific brush to apply things so I would definitely say oh my gosh check them out because artifact has expanded so much from just masks they started as core like with I think eight different masks now they have um, they have lip masks they have lip balms they actually have a new hair care line that they were calling mermaid and now I think they're calling it Murmur Monoy. Um, but Monoy is a, just a wonderful coconut oil that's been soaked um, with TR flour. So it has this beautiful, intoxicating uh, Hawaiian smell. So they have a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in products for hair. Um, my hair, there's not very much of it. It's finally, it's growing in a little. So I'm going to have to start needing styling products soon and like more shampoos and conditioners. But definitely check out this line. It's a local line and they're really inspired by the world and um, different regions and you really see that with their masks so worthwhile so decadent so luxurious you're definitely going to, want to treat yourself to more than one thanks very much guys have a beautiful day